Hello everyone. I'm practicing English by reading, and today I picked this article. It's about Bermuda fresh water. It's from one of a comment on my Thai channel, which I posted my trip in Bermuda last Christmas. Last Christmas is in 2019. And the question asks about how the Bermuda people get fresh water. And then I searched for information and found this website interesting. Then I decided to read it. It is entered Bermuda. How Bermuda gets its water? Faxity Gany Homes, August 17, 2017. From the surface. Bermuda is an island paradise. It's filled with large tropical greenery and quaint pastel estates. Quaint, right? <laughs> I don't know how to read this word. The locals are relaxed and welcoming. It has everything you need for fun, sun, peace, and heavenly vacations are laid back and relaxing, and relaxing place to work. However, when you think about it, Mobilda is a tiny island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean that is less than 21 square miles, 53 kilometers in size, surrounded by salt water with very little fresh water on the island. You may begin to wonder, where does Bermuda get its water from? How do people, homes, and businesses on the island get access to fresh water, and what goes on under the surface to help manage the islands ahim, other kind of fresh, come with us and explore the water and sewage systems in Morbida, from tank to tap and back to tank again. We'll cover everything you need to know about water surprise and waste management in this beautiful island nation. Where does Bermuda's fresh water come from? Bermuda is a country that's very aware of its water needs, as there are no sources of fresh water on the island for over 400 years. The inhabitants have put a great deal of careful research and resourcefulness into ensuring that homes and businesses have access to a decade supplies of fresh water. From this work, Bermuda now has three primary sources of fresh water. First, rainfall provides between 50 to 70 percent of the fresh water used in households. Second, wells taps into natural reserves under the island. And third, Rivers are small seas, desalinations on a grand scale. Let's explore these sources in more detail. Rainfall Bermuda receives an annual rainfall of over 1,500 mm per year, and there's no winter or rainy season in Bermuda. It rains all year round. There are rainy days every single month, with an average of 5 inches falling every month. Though in recent years, there have been some freakishly high monthly averages recorded. Bermuda locals know they should take a raincoat wherever they go. This propensity for rain is part of what makes Bermuda so rush and green as well as being in primary source of fresh water for the island. But how does Bermuda capture this rainfall? When you've looked at pictures of Bermuda, have you ever noticed the unique and beautiful roofs on Bermuda houses and buildings? They're painted white, and they're a signature of the island's architectural, architectural heritage. These roofs are more than just a pretty face, though. They catch the rain. The secret lies is an innovative 
method that was pioneered over 400 years ago. The roofs have a special design where the limestones they make from creatures. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they made from creates the steps of a shallow pyramid. This slows down the flow and rainwater as it falls and then is funneled into an underground tank. The white color serves a special purpose too. It reflects ultraviolet light, which helps to purify the water as it's being collected. The technique hangs back to the time of the first settlers, or not settler, settlers, who had the idea to create paved terraces to catch the rainwater. Necessity is the mother of inventions, after all, and without this clever idea, it would have been much harder to survive on the island. This tradition quickly moved to rooftops announced it enshrined in law. Almost all roofs must be built in this manner. Though many new construction use concrete instead of limestone, the houses must also have an underground tank to store the captured water. For the system to work, 80% of the roof needs to have adequate cutting and the storage tanks must have a capacity of at least 100 gallons for every 10 feet of roof space. The limestone roofs also help to keep Bobina buildings cool. Not only is this resourceful but also good for the environment. Researchers from the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory of California have shown that a thousand square foot area of a rooftop painted white as about the same one time impact on curbing global warming as cutting 10 tons of CO2 emissions. When you combine the water definites, <laughs> definite, definites that many Bermuda, that many Bermuda households practice with their climate so research this rainwater collection system makes the Bermuda rooftops not just practical, but sustainable as a good, clean, renewable resource as well. Okay, this is the roof look like. Photo by Golden Ash Design. I didn't notice <laughs> because I didn't read this before I went there. So, interesting. Well, more recently, exploration under the island discovered a series of freshwater lenses or aquifers under the surface where groundwater accumulates. This allows use of fresh groundwater that sits on top of heavier salt water. Around three quarters of a billion or 750 million. Okay, <laughs> liters of water end up in the lenses at refurbishment water every year. Hard to understand the language. <laughs> Over 3,000 households on the island have private wells that tap into these lenses to provide additional water. It can be brackage, so the water is soon potable, meaning you can drink it. Okay, it's used mainly for flushing toilets and watering gardens. Okay, I don't know what is lenset because the word lenset, what I can think of is the camera lens. Reverse osmosis. Reverse osmosis is a fancy way of saying desalination. Bermuda has six plants that generate around 13 1,500 cubic meters of water per day or 200 million gallons a year. Although desalination, desalination can be a controversial topic, providing adequate fresh water is a priority for the island's tourism business, which is a cornerstone of the nation's prosperity. Both hotels and golf courses use large amounts of water 
and Bermuda has more golf courses per capita than any other country. Many of the large hotels use water produced by the reverse osmosis plants so that their guests can enjoy an abundance of fresh water. You can imagine that a hotel would be a big water user. Just think of all those towns. Sometimes this desalinated water is used primarily for laundry and showers, then is collected, treated, and used again for irrigation. Irrigation. <laughs> in the towns are prospect in Denmoshire per Parish. Okay, one government storage tank alone holds three million gallons of rivers water produced through desalination. There are pipes from the tank that lead to key parts of the island, including Hamilton, Shelby Bay, some prospect housing, and the King Edward Memorial Hospital. Other storage facilities supply military property in St. George, Ardennes Island, the Somerset and Hamilton Parish quarries, and other key buildings and facilities. Sewage so system. Bermuda doesn't have any national sewage, 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 oh, sewage, sewage. Okay, I, I can't feel because the word on the title is sewage, and then the word in the sentence is sewage. <laughs> okay, sewage system in place for the large amounts, amounts, amounts of sewage that are produced daily by inhabitants and visitors to the island. This isn't an oversight. It's because the solid limestone rock that Bermuda is built on doesn't enable any piping system to be laid. There is a local system within the city of Hamilton, but all other houses have either a pit or a septic tank. <laughs> I have no idea what are they, but I heard about septic tank. Underneath the property, there are strict construction requirements in place to ensure they aren't close to water tanks or water lenses. Some primarily treated infrared is also disposed of through sea outlets, usually over 700 meters offshore, and through waste disposal injection weld. Bermuda's Department of Health regularly monitors the seawater around Bermuda for pollution levels. Conclusion So, there you have it. That's how Bermuda says fresh and clean and ensures everyone has sufficient water to drink or use. It's worth noting that the locals cherish their water and don't take it for granted. Being careful with water has been Grained <laughs> into Bermudians over their 400 years of history. There are many new words for me in this article. <laughs> okay, uh, let me read this sentence again. Being careful with water has been ingrained into Bermudians over their 400 years of history, having to mainly be reliant on a natural source of water, the weather means people are generally very thirsty with their water consumption. There are few things worse than running out of water. Bermudians know this on a deep level. Fortunately, the government now runs a program where residents can buy a tuck load of fresh water to replenish their tanks for around $55 per load. So there is always a backup supply in place, but this is a last resource and one that Bermudians try to avoid if possible. Unfortunately, sometimes there are dry spells and that makes this program a very important resource. Water is a variable commodity no matter where you are in the world. However, some know this more than others. This tiny island surrounded by the sea with water, water everywhere, knows how fragile a water system can be. 
you look around and see the crystal blue stuff. <laughs> stuff. Sorry, I thought about the surf. You look around and see the crystal blue stuff everywhere on the island, and yet not a drop can be drunk. Those with fewer resources are the most successful, not successful, resourceful. Okay, let me read the last sentence again. Those with fewer resources are the most resourceful. Okay, the end. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.